L6561 Power Factor Corrector, ST Microelectronics. Welcome to this training module on ST Microelectronics L6561 Power Factor Corrector. This training module introduces the basic operations of the L6561 and its applications. L6561 is the improved version of the L6560 standard power factor corrector. It has a superior performance multiplier making the device capable of working in wide input voltage range applications from 85 volts to 265 volts with an excellent total harmonic distortion. The startup current has been reduced to a few tens of milliamps and a disable function has been implemented on the ZCD pin guaranteeing lower current consumption in standby mode. Micro power startup current, soft output over voltage protection, there is no need for an external low pass filter on the current sense and very low operating quiescent current minimizes power dissipation. The L6561 is an IC intended for controlling power factor corrector pre-regulators. These are based on boost topology using the transition mode technique. The device is available in Minidip and SO8 packages. Although the IC is optimized for power factor correction pre-regulators in electronic lamp ballasts, AC to DC adapters, and low power 150 watt SMPS, it is excellent performance and extremely low external part count make it suitable in unconventional topologies and applications. The device features a true micropower startup current, 50 microamps typical, and low quiescent current, a very precise internal reference of 1% at a thermal junction temperature of 25 degrees C, and an on-chip RC filter on the current sense pin and a multiplier with extended dynamics. This figure shows the internal block diagram of the L6561. It is an IC intended to control power factor correction pre-regulators using the transition mode technique. As shown in the figure, a linear voltage regulator supplied by VCC generates an internal 7 volt rail used to supply the whole integrated circuit, except for the output stage, which is supplied directly from VCC. In addition, a band gap circuit generates the precise internal reference of 2.5 volts plus or minus 1% at 25 degrees C used by the control loop to ensure good regulation. The undervoltage lockout comparator with hysteresis is used to enable the chip as long as the VCC voltage is high enough to ensure a reliable operation. The error amplifier inverting input through an external divider connected to the output bus compares the boosted output DC voltage, VO, with the internal reference so as to maintain the pre-regulator output DC voltage constant. A sophisticated two-level over-voltage protection is included and a disable function is available to shut down the device. The error amplifier inverting input through an external divider connected to the output bus compares a proportion of the boosted output DC voltage, VO, with the internal reference so as to maintain the pre-regulator output DC voltage at a constant level. The error amplifier is used for frequency compensation, usually realized with a feedback capacitor connected to the inverting input. The error amplifier bandwidth will be extremely low because the output of the error amplifier must be constant over a line half cycle to achieve a high power factor. The L6561 is provided with a two level over voltage protection realized by connecting to the error amplifier output. In the case of an over voltage, the output of the error amplifier will tend to saturate low but the error amplifier response is very slow, so it will take a long time to go into saturation. On the other hand, an overvoltage must be corrected immediately, hence a fast overvoltage protection detector based on a differential concept is necessary. In steady state condition, the current through R1 is equal to the current in R2 because the compensation capacitor does not allow DC current to flow. 
The zero current detection block switches on the external MOSFET as the voltage across the boost inductor reverses, just after the current through the boost inductor has gone to zero. A circuit is needed that turns on the external MOSFET at startup since no signal is coming from the zero current detector. This is realized with an internal starter which forces the driver to deliver a pulse to the gate of the MOSFET, producing also the signal for arming the zero current detection circuit. The zero current detection pin is used also to activate the disable block. If the voltage on the pin is taken below 150 millivolts, the device will be shut down. As a result, its current consumption will be reduced. To re-enable the device operation, the pull down on the pin must be released. The multiplier has two inputs. The first one takes a proportion of the instantaneous rectified line voltage and the second one the output of the error amplifier. If this voltage is constant over a given line half cycle, the output of the multiplier will be shaped as a rectified sinusoid. This is the reference signal for the current comparator, which sets the MOSFET peak current cycle by cycle. The current comparator senses the voltage across the current sense resistor and, by comparing it with the programming signal delivered by the multiplier, determines the exact time when the external MOSFET is to be switched off. The PWM latch avoids spurious switching of the MOSFET, which might result from generated noise. The output of the multiplier is internally clamped to 1.7 volts, typically, thus Current limiting occurs if the voltage across the current sense resistor reaches this value. A totem pole buffer with 400 milliamp source and sync capability allows driving an external MOSFET. An internal pull down circuit holds the output low when the device is in the under voltage lockout condition to ensure that the external MOSFET cannot be turned on accidentally. The AC mains voltage is rectified by a diode bridge and the rectified voltage delivered to the boost converter using a switching technique which boosts the rectified input voltage to a regulated DC output voltage. The boost converter consists of a boost inductor, a controlled power switch, a catch diode, an output capacitor, and control circuitry. The goal is to shape the input current in a sinusoidal fashion in phase with the input sinusoidal voltage. To do this, the L6561 uses the so-called transition mode technique. The ability to operate under large variations of both input voltage and load current, as well as the use of power factor correction systems as pre-regulators for switching converters, requires a more accurate design of the control loop. The goal will not only be to ensure a narrow bandwidth in order to achieve a high power factor, it is also to have enough phase margin to make sure the system is stable over a large range of operating conditions. Here shows a block diagram of the control loop of the L6561 device. The loop gain of the power factor corrector pre-regulator must have a very low crossover frequency to maintain V-COMP, which is the error amplifier output, fairly constant over a given line cycle and ensure a high power factor. The error amplifier has been compensated to get a type 2 amplifier that provides a pole at the origin and a zero pole pair. Here shows the total harmonic distortion corrector circuit block diagram and the waveforms in the, at significant points. The multiplier has two inputs. The first one is a fraction of the rectified input voltage, and the second one is the output of the error amplifier. The multiplier output is the product of these two quantities and, ideally, is a rectified sinusoid whose peak amplitude increases by increasing the input voltage. Essentially, the total harmonic distortion improvement circuit artificially increases the on-time of the power switch 
with a positive offset added to the output of the multiplier in the proximity of the line voltage zero crossings. This offset is reduced as the instantaneous line voltage increases so that it becomes negligible as the line voltage moves toward the top of the sinusoid. This slide shows an application circuit using the 6561 device for an 80 watt 110 volt power supply. The design of an 80 watt power factor corrected AC to DC adapter is suitable for high end portable computers. In this configuration, the L6561 is used as a power factor corrected pre regulator for electronic ballast applications. In the circuit as shown, the AC mains voltage is rectified by a diode bridge and delivered to the boost converter. The converter section boosts the rectified voltage to a DC controlled value. The section consists of a boost inductor, T1, a controlled power switch, Q1, a boost diode, D1, an output capacitor, C5, and control circuitry. The output voltage value of the power factor corrector is adjustable by the R7-R8 resistor pair. 